Hello, my name is Emma and I work here at Eden's beautiful gardens. Today I'm going to tell you some ideas to help get you walking and talking. Sometimes when we're out and about we don't always notice what's around us. So I'm going to give you some simple tools that you can carry to help you stop, look and talk about what you see. I wonder what part of our body we use for looking. It's our eyes. Can you cup your hands around your eyes and try looking up, looking down and looking all around? You have a go. Look up, look down and look all around. What do you see when you look up? I see clouds, lots of clouds today and the leaves on the trees. What do you see when you look down? I see green grass. Here are our curious eyes. They're a really good tool to help you look. They've got these handy handles, perfect for little hands. You can hold them up to your face and then when you see something which catches your eye you can stop and look at what you've noticed. We've got two colours here. We've got the blue one, which has lots of buttons on it, and the orange one, which has lots of dials which you can turn. I wonder what all these buttons do. I think this one helps you to take a picture, and maybe this one tells you the name of the thing that you're looking at. And here, can you see it says zoom? So that helps you to zoom in at something that you want to see a bit more closely. Should we have a go? We can zoom in and have a look at something closely. Or zoom out if we want to see something far away. You can have a go at making your own curious eyes. To do that you're going to need some cardboard. I've used the back of an old cereal packet. You're going to need your curious eyes template which you can download from the webpage. You're going to need some scissors or a grown-up who can help you with the cutting out. And you're going to need some pens or materials to decorate. Perhaps you could theme your curious eyes. I've got one here that I've made to go on a leaf hunt. So I've decorated it with lots of leaves. So you could have a go at making a leaf hunt design. Or maybe if you're looking for mini booths, you could decorate yours to look like a mini booth. I've got the green from a shield bug. Oh, and the black and yellow from a bumblebee, and the red and black spots from a ladybird, and here it looks like beetle shiny wings. I've put three buttons on my design too. One, two, three. I've got a triangular button. I think that might help you to take a picture. And a square button. That's going to tell you the name of the thing that you're looking at. And the yellow button, which I think is going to help you to zoom in. I wonder what your buttons would do on your design. You can share your designs with us or pictures of the things that you found using the hashtag explore and talk. Here are some more tools that you can use when you're out exploring and talking. Here are some binoculars. You can use them to see things which are far away. We use these when we're in the rainforest biome to look at the fruits at the top of tall trees. If you don't have any play binoculars you could just your own using some toilet roll insides like this. They're really helping you to look. Or you could make a telescope. That also helps you see things which are far away. Perfect for a pirate walk. Arr! You could use a torch. They can help you look into dark spots and your eyes can follow the light where you're looking. You could use a magnifying glass. These make small things look much bigger and they're perfect for looking at flowers or the details on little mini booths. Should we have a look and see if we can see some mini booths in here? They're like damp, dark places, so I think this is going to be perfect. Let's have a little look. Ooh, can you see? I can see, I think it's a worm all curled up in there. You can all see some of the little things moving. I wonder if they put it back and keep them safe. If you want an extra challenge, you could give yourself a list of things to find. On the back of our orange curious eyes, we've got five things that you can find. 
we've got colourful, interesting, huge, tiny and special. But the Eden Project Garden feels like the best place to find something colourful, interesting, huge, tiny and special. Shall we go and see what we can find? Here in Wild Cornwall, all the gorse and heather is looking really colourful at the moment. Look at all that beautiful yellow and purple. Wow, this is really interesting. Look at this. It's a boot under the wall. Ooh, how did that get there? Whose boot is it? Looks like quite a big boot. Hello? Very interesting. So the next thing on our list to find is something huge. We're not just looking for big, we're looking for huge. So if we look across, I can see the really huge biomes here at Eden. There's the rainforest biome. It's like a giant bubble. It's so huge. Hmm. I'm looking at these grasses and at the top of the grasses there's some tiny, tiny seed heads. They're really beautiful. If I look closely, I can see these are almost red and purple, tiny seed heads. And we might find that there's lots of different types of grasses and different types of seed heads in such a small patch. So the last thing, the fifth thing on our curious eyes to find is something special. So something special will be different for you and me. But I think I found something which I think is rather special. Let's have a little look. Here we go. Can you see the spider's web in amongst the heather? The raindrops have caught on it and it looks really beautiful. You could even use your curious eyes for a game of I spy. So I spy with my little eye something beginning with the letter L which says L. L. Have a look at it. L. Oh! Is it a leaf? It is, it's a leaf. Maybe when you find the thing that you're looking for, you could add a describing word, an adjective. So this is a wavy leaf. Or maybe here, we've got a smooth leaf. It's, an, it's shaped a bit like an egg as well, an oval leaf. This leaf has little teeth. I found a leaf with teeth. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you've got lots of ideas to use when you're out exploring and talking. Please remember to share your curious eyes and your finds with us with using the hashtag explore and talk. And we hope to see you next time when we're talking about colour. Bye!